Hi, it's Lipstick Out. Thanks so much for watching today. I wanted to do another collaboration makeup video where we try on, where I try on, makeup that I've had in my makeup hoard, my stash, for a long time and uh, see whether it's still good, whether I still want to keep using it or not. This is part declutter and part kind of nostalgia. So thanks for watching today. Subscribe if you haven't and I wanted to revisit this. This is a collab between Too Faced and Candy Johnson. By the way, my pets are right here and they're, the cat and the dog, they're playing. So you may hear a little noise, a little jingle jangle of collars, but uh, we're gonna keep going. Um, so I got to the point where I have foundation and concealer on and I realized I, I had just pulled this out, the eyeshadow palette, and I was like, wait, I did get the banana pudding powder. So I thought we'd use this today. If you look at it, I don't know where the, Maybe that's the best place to see it. It's a slightly speckled yellow powder. This is a kind of a perfecting brightening powder. It's kind of labeled as a brightening face powder, but it has a lot of these multicolors. There's purple, green, pink, yellow in a kind of a warmer base. And I think it's supposed to help do some color correcting. I haven't used it in a while, but I want to start by making sure I don't have any creasing underneath my eyes and just tapping this down here to set. Oh, it's very dark. Did you see how much darker this got than this? This may not be a good idea. I think the reason that I didn't really use it that much after I first got it was because I noticed how much darker it ended up on my fair skin. So uh, if you're curious, today I am wearing the Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation in the shade Light Ivory. It's 106A, it's their lightest shade, as well as the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Snow. Uh, I just feel like my face just keeps getting darker and darker. I'm gonna switch to a larger brush so I don't have to be here all day making bad choices and knowing I'm doing it. <laughs> so I've loaded up my brush and I'm just gonna set my whole face with this. I think the one thing that I noticed the most, and it might be hard to see with all the lighting I have in here, but this really does give my skin a very yellow, almost artificially yellow tone. I've not tried very many powders from Too Faced. This was the last powder product I bought, and I bought it because it was Candy Johnson, and I love Candy Johnson, but also because I remember her talking about how this would suit anybody. <laughs> I drank the Kool-Aid, I believed, and then I received it. I think I purchased it online from Ulta, and I was like, maybe not. But I kept trying to love it and trying to make it work. And especially my under eyes look very yellow today. Now, if your complexion is not as fair as mine, this might actually work really well for you. And if I'm looking at it here, oh boy, very, very yellow. I might have just made a really bad decision. <laughs> okay, say a prayer. I'm gonna put on some bronzer blush and highlight, some brows, and I'll be right back and we'll take a look at what's in the eyeshadow palette. This was the main reason I was super, super excited about the collaboration between Candy Johnson and Too Faced. I had a couple of Too Faced eyeshadow palettes at that point when I ordered this, and I really wanted to love it. Uh, I did pick up one previous collab from them, and it was the Nikki Tutorials collab, and I remember the quality not being so great, so I was hoping things were better with this, and I did find that there was much better quality in these shadows, but it's been a couple of years and I don't know if they're still good. I used it a couple of times after, I used, well, I used it more than a couple of times after I got it, and then it kind of fell to the back of the drawer. So it's interesting to pull it out again today. I think what I really enjoyed a lot about this was not only the fact that there are three large pans of really pale shades, being a pale girl is like, oh, the pale ones, they made them bigger, hooray! And then you had three separate color stories, the ones that line up with the larger pans. So I, I really liked this. I have to tell you, I haven't used it in more than a year. So I thought we'd try it on today. I'm going to start with this shade here. This is called Banana Cream Pie. It's a kind of neutrally based, oh wow, it's still very pigmented, kind of cream bone shade. And I like to use it to uh, make sure my lid is completely set. 
I know that if you have a sticky base, your eyeshadow, you know, stays better. The only problem I have with that is that my blending skills are uh, much better when there's already powder on the lid and there's nothing sticky to stick down to. I'm gonna start with this shade right here. This one's called Pastry. And I'm gonna start by putting that in my crease. Just a really pretty kind of warmer pinky nude. Maybe more of a, I feel like I'm describing a lipstick. Maybe more of a brown, but it has a slight pink lean to it. I'm gonna use this shade right here. This one's called Raspberry Cocoa. I see that I haven't really dipped into this much. I've used it mainly for like liner. When I find a palette that I haven't used in a while and I like what I'm doing, I'm like, why, why have I not done this before? And I, I had, here's the thing, two years ago, I had just had my second brain surgery and I went from being in bed 14 to 16 hours a day to like getting up, doing things. And I remember taking, I purchased this at the, I think it was in September when she launched her, late August or September when she launched her collab. And I had my surgery scheduled for October. And I was like, you know, I'll, I'll be feeling better. I'll be getting out of bed. I'll wear more makeup. And then I just kept acquiring more and more and uh, looks like I missed a hidden gem. This one's really, boy, I really like the way it looks so far. I am gonna take that same color, that raspberry cocoa, on the bottom lash line. There's another neutral shade in here. It's called Cream Puff right here. I think I'm gonna take some of that and just, even though it's lighter than this raspberry cocoa, just bring the smudginess down just a little bit. But it's such a light shade, boy. It's like these colors were made just for me and my skin tone, which is why I don't understand <laughs> the banana pie or the banana pudding powder. I'm gonna dip into this shade right here. This is called Sugared Strawberry. Oh boy. I remember using this shade a lot. Oh, it's not very pigmented. Maybe the metallics haven't aged as well as the mattes because the mattes are doing beautifully. And um, so far this is underwhelming me. I'm gonna use that first all over lid shade, that banana cream pie, it's a very pale color, right here under the arch of my brow. Kind of blend it in, oh, without getting it in my brow. This is why I usually do brows after this point because I get all sorts of shadow over my brow, um, but we're gonna try and be careful. There is a shade in here called Whipped Cream and it's a really white metallic. It's really hard to see the metallic in it because it's so pale. But I'm gonna put some of this right here in my inner corner. It's still pretty bright. I feel like it's really stark compared to how yellow my under eyes look from the banana powder. <gasps> oh, and I did it to myself. So I'm gonna throw on some liner and some mascara and then we'll be back for the lipstick. The last thing I wanna do is pick something out of this box here. I love Clinique Chubby pencils with my whole heart. They were the first kind of crayon or chubby lipstick that I ever, ever found. And I love that they were glossy and comfortable and made my lips look a little bit shiny, but not too shiny. It was like the perfect gloss stick for me. So in this box are both their Intense Formula, which is a more opaque, full color type of formula, as well as their traditional chubby sticks. So um, based on what I'm wearing today, I think I might go for a combination of these two guys. And these are, of course, collaborations with Crayola, hence the kind of Crayola crayon box. I love this so much. All right, so I'm gonna start out with this neutral color here called Fuzzy Wuzzy, and then put a little bit of melon on top. I'll tell you, the chubby lipsticks aren't going anywhere. I love these. I love the way they feel on my lips. And this combo, and I almost always cocktail two things together. I very rarely just wear one color. I usually will put down uh, a lip liner and then adjust the shade of the lip liner with a lipstick. Or think about if I wanna wear this lipstick but I want it a little deeper on the outside. Anyway, I'm always cocktailing things together. And even when it comes to something like this, it could be a one and done product. 
I've always mixed colors since I first started wearing lip products as a kid with my Bonnie Belt lip smackers. <laughs> I was used that Dr. Pepper to deepen it up just a little bit. <laughs> so those aren't going anywhere. I'm surprised at how much I still like and use, and I think it, it's the mattes in here that really, really impressed me. I also like that there is these much larger pans, and I think that if I were to leave this out, I would dip into the color like banana pie, banana cream pie, a lot. Um, this one here is a much more like a paley, it's white, but it's like got a slight pinky undertone. This one's got a slight yellow undertone. And I think that I could use either one of these, you know, arch of the brow, inner corner if I wasn't looking for shimmer, or to help blend out edges if I get a little too crazy, which I have been known to do. So I really, really like this. I wish that the shimmers performed a little bit better, but I wonder what they might be like when I were to wet them with like a Fix Plus or something. And I think that it might actually be better. This is definitely not for me. This is gonna have to go. I bought it because I love Candy Johnson and the idea of a all over perfecting, color correcting face powder sounded fantastic. I just didn't think it was going to be this yellow and this like under my eyes, it it looks like, like I'm wearing yellow powder. <laughs> all over my face it looks like I'm wearing yellow powder, but it's really bad and really obvious under my eyes. So this is not a brightening face powder for me. This is like an unfortunate choice on my part, but that's okay. And this is when I tell you, remember, when you buy products that you know don't work for you, sometimes you don't know until you try, you can return them. And not, I think this was like a $30 powder, I have had it in my drawer for two years and really haven't used it. So I'm glad to know that I can let this go um, and maybe somebody else can get some use out of it. But it's definitely, definitely not something that I will ever reach for again because if you were to up close see the state of my yellow under eyes, you would wonder about my choices in general. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today. I. I'm still gonna continue doing a declutter. So this wasn't really meant to be a declutter, but it does let me know this product doesn't work for me. I do have a chopping block uh, playlist that I'm currently working on where I'm going through once a week and recording a video where I try nothing but products that I haven't tried. I'm to the point now where I'm almost out of, I think I'm out of mascaras that are opened that I haven't tried yet. And every now and again, when I finish a mascara, I might open one that I've never tried before and see whether it works for me or not. But um, I'm getting closer on concealers and on other products. I have a ton of eyeshadows and a ton of lipsticks. Also working on a lipstick declutter, I will link that for you here as well as down below. So thank you so, so much for watching today. Let me know if you ever get collab makeup, if there are specific influencers you like to support, or things that just make you feel nostalgic. These do, and I'm going to have to drop these in my purse for today because we're going to go the rest of the day wearing these shades. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.